was diagnosed with cerebral palsy probably around six months of age. We just noticed he wasn't gaining those milestones. The sitting up, the crawling. So Bailey first came to the gate lab when he was five years of age to do a baseline assessment of his walking so that we could monitor what happens with him over time. The gate lab was great, it was all new, it was technology. It was more like eyes from the outside being able to look inside his body. After a gait analysis assessment with the children, the gait laboratory team of orthopaedic surgeons, biomedical engineers and physiotherapists sit down and, and meet together to discuss the, uh, the outcome of, of that analysis. In the gait lab, we're assessing he was starting to really tighten up in the hips and he was getting a bit of a limp and one leg was more dominant than the other. One leg would swivel around and getting much tighter. But the part of, you know, handing him over to the anaesthetist um, and then him looking up at me and saying, am I going to be okay? That was the hardest bit. If we never did the multi-level surgery, his hips would be pulling out. His walking pattern would have gotten worse. His independence would have been reduced. And now I've come out the other end and I've seen the outcome, the perfection in his legs, how much better he walks. I've got a basketball ring and my neighbour's got another basketball ring. So we like play matches and stuff. And now it feels much more easier and relaxed and it feels like brighter in the house with everybody. So often the surgeon and the surgery is seen as the hero that really leads to these great outcomes for these children. But without the research uh, that, and the support of the MCRI, we would never be able to take those families' hands and, and lead them confidently through the journey that they undertake. It felt awesome. Like, it was a new thing that I could do. It felt like, oh, I can't believe I can do this. Mm -hmm.